Hi guys and how's it going? Welcome back to the uh, Bloodborne playthrough. Okay, so let's, uh, before we like head on, let's just take a look at the uh, Cathedral Ward. See if anything's evolved over there. Oh, she's getting, she's having some pains. Let's not talk to her just yet. The, uh, the old lady's gone out again. Uh, wait just a wee bit longer, my little sweet pea. Okay, she's just giggling to herself. She's in some pain. Things are about to happen. Um, okay, so this is the uh, <coughs> the old lady bit. Hold on, do you have anything to say? Your lies spin a web, but I see through your deceit. I did not learn from books. No, 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 no. I learned it all with my own mind. Well, she did. Um, so, so the old lady's gone off to get some more sedatives as we uh, kept, she kept giving them to us. Um, so the closest way out is here. Let's see if we can find her now. And there she is, lying on the ground. And a pool of blood. And we pick up some sedatives. R.O.P. crazy old lady. <clears throat> so that is her demise. Uh, I'm not actually sure what happens to, to these two. Like, I know what happens to her. And we're going to find that out after the next part. Uh, when we come back to this. Does he see anything? Or she? Kind hunter. The old girl. The old girl you sent over. She's dead. Killed. Stone dead. Why? Must have been a beast, right? Or do you think someone out there could have... Oh, oh, I just don't... Oh. Well. I do know. It's my fault. All oh, my... Okay, it says fault apparently. Yeah, I'm okay with that. <sighs> okay, let's continue. <laughs> We're going to Yahagol Unseen Village. Let's go there. Ah, <sighs> uh, but I don't want to go to this one. Um, okay, so I've come here for some reason. What weapons do I have? Uh, it's a nitrous gun, torch, and a bone cleaver. Uh, so I could just go to the shortcut. Do we start to fight these guys? Yes. Uh, so all the bow maidens are back, but we're going to kind of ignore all of these. They're like an opening down there. Because we're, we're going to go up, right? Oh no, we are going to go down. Okay, so this is where we're going to roll off then. Just to quickly get to where we need to go. We got some dogs. Should get them to attack. Step back. And get hit, hit a bunch of times. And then stand on this uh, plate. This is a ritual plate. Okay, so our saw cleaver is plus nine. Now to get that to plus ten, we need to get a, a chunk, 
which we'll begin in this next area. Let's run ahead, take out this Bell Maiden. And then this guy. Oh god, I feel like kind of OP. Oh, there's a uh, bone blade. And the levels that are right at the minute. Which is nice. Yeah, and we killed the unborn thing. Just run straight through here. <laughs> yeah, and th there is another place. Like, we could have teleported straight to that lantern instead of doing all this stuff. Silly me. We're here now. Let's carry on. I might just uh, teleport to that last post uh, in the edit. And then we find this room with a guy with a cage on his head. Inspect that mummy. Um, are we going to take him back to the Electra building? Is there anything to read up here? I feel like there was a note somewhere. Maybe not in this room. I don't. Oh, God. Uh, and we appear on the second floor of the ledge building this time. Sedatives. Be careful of that guy who hangs down and just jumps on you, flops down on you. There's an item behind there, so we're gonna go in that area soon. Um, just kill everything. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like if you didn't get the tonsil stone and come here earlier, um, to get to the point where you can go to the lower level. Uh, go into the other part of the nightmare and take out the amygdala. You can do it now in this place. It's kind of like just take out the whole nightmare in one go, which is probably recommended because the uh, the nightmare is pr uh, a little bit of a challenge, especially for mainly for like frenzy and uh, and poison. You can take a lot of damage from that, so it is good to have a nice uh, health pool for it. But you do, but you can get the uh, the plus ten percent HP rune from there, which could help out in your playthrough. Master Willem was right. Evolution without courage will be the ruin of our race. And here we've got like jars full of eyeballs. So much detail in this game. <laughs> Is that fetus? Can I hear something? Maybe it's outside. Sounds like it's there. Like directly outside of this room. I'm down here. <laughs> yep. Whoa. Slam. Anything down here? Illusory wall? No. Um, what do we have the big guy? Let's see what's in here. Uh, the nameless moon presence beckoned by Lawrence and his associates, Pale Blood. What was the first line of that? Nameless Moon Presence. The Nameless Moon Presence, beckoned by Lawrence and his associates. Pale Blood. Uh, that was the first thing in the game. 
seek out, uh, seek the pale blood. Is that right? Is that the first thing? Uh, three third chords. Um, so yeah, there's another game that tells you seek the pale blood. It says three third chords on there. And it mentions the moon presence. So just some hints on what to do in this game. Uh, and that's the door we're going to go to after we cleared this area. Oh, look at this guy, man. He's got like fiery fists. This guy's just easy to stay behind. <laughs> I'll take that back. Uh, but it's slow, so you can kind of dodge around him. Um, what is over this side? If we go, if we go down here, let's go down here first. Uh, we can find patches. Oh, this cannot be. You cannot be. No, you didn't. Lord Amidara? Oh, how did this come to pass? I'm back for life. Now, wait just a moment. Do you think you love me? Me? <laughs> the guy who pushed us off the cliff. Oh, it pains me to hear it. You've made yourself a misreckoning. I shared with you a thing most secret. Now, you're witness to a miracle. And all the stronger for it. It's plain as a pike staff. Now, say in my heart, you were as a lamb to my god. Well, you weren't to know, and it wasn't for you to know. All's well that ends well, I say. <laughs> <laughs> that was uncharitably done. That was uncharitably done, dear friend. <laughs> what was it? Everyone's wisdom. Uh, he's, he's got no further dialogue or anything in the game. Um, I, I'm just wondering, actually, if we've killed him there, does he still appear on the side of that cliff? Um, but yeah, we've done all this stuff before. As you can see, we've been in there. Um, I might uh, go and check that a bit later, if I remember. Surely it won't be. Patches, no! Um, okay, and let's clear out the rest of this hall. See if there's anything uh, worthwhile in here. I'm just running past stuff because I don't want things to fall on top of me. The chest. Um, communion. And we've got about we've got four of these. This looks like a, a max files held up plus two, three plus three. Uh, so yeah, we've read for these before. These are just max files held plus four. So if you're needing them extra health potions, you can stick them in there. Oh, there it is. I knew there was one there. The fall down. I think it's for the... Drops down to the... The ledge hole at the bottom. Uh, so I'm just going to come clear this side first because these are... Ranged guys.
more sedatives. Uh, so yeah, if you go across the other side, they're just going to try and spray you with that stuff. Um, what? Plus one chunk. All right, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, nine. Uh, what's the last one? It's a bloodstone rock to get the plus ten weapon. Which was thinking bloodstone shard plus three. Twins plus six, chunks plus nine, and then rock for plus ten. Uh, there's only one plus stone rock in the base game, uh, which we'll get in the next area. Um, uh, I think someone mentioned there was a rock in the DLC somewhere. So you can get like two plus tens per playthrough. Um, actually, you can get more than that because you can buy them uh, later on with insight. <laughs> Mr. Stretch over there. Um, alright, that's that's everything. That's this whole uh, upper floor cleared. Yeah, carry on to the next area. Um, <laughs> one thing that's always good to check before we move on is to make sure we've got... Um, yeah, the Frenzy Resistance 200 is going to be a good thing to have here. We've got Frenzy Resistance 200 for the runes. Uh, max stamina plus 10%, uh, max HP plus 10%, and stamina recovery speed up. Which are the runes that I usually like to, to play with. Uh, it gives you more... Uh, more general buffs. Ugh, nightmare of Mensas. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a few other runes, but I think they're a bit more uh, spec specialists. So if you're going for like Viscerals or uh, an Urbler Tinge build, then you want to get some more Quicksilver ones. Uh, you know, just stuff like that. So this one, I feel like, is better than me. A bit more health, a bit more stamina. Bell ring a woman rings a sinister bell. This is normal playthrough, isn't it? You can hear a baby crying in the distance. These things let out some some slugs. Are they not here? Do they not get any worms? Maybe for visceral them they don't. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll say this earlier. I'll say this through a few playthroughs. If you're if you're looking to get trying to get some visceral attacks, some parries with a gun, um, don't be afraid to just stay there, take a hit if you if you need to. Because um, as soon as you get that parry and that visceral, your health will go straight back up. Um, me, I'm a little bit more cautious. So like when I'm trying to get one, most of the time I'll just dodge out of it and kind of lose that visceral opportunity. And then it's just a waste because I just panic a bit too much. Three bloodstone shots. That's a nice one to get. Just clouds. Um, okay, so while well, that light is showing up there, if you're in sight of that, it's going to start building up Frenzy. Which is not good. Um, we've got two beasts over here. And some Frenzy build up. Why am I not getting this in? Damn it, I might die here. Can I get you? A little midair frenzy. If you're not uh, confident with those uh, parries, just do a, do a dodge around the side and get the normal attacks in. Absolutely hate this bit though. 
Um, so I'm going to head up this way first, just to... <clears throat> get the secondary lamp. I mean, you don't have to do this just yet, just because... I don't even know why I'm doing it right now, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just be careful with these guys because they can pull you over the edge. I'm going to get hit by the frenzy. Push them over the edge. Uh, we got eye. So this is the other uh, rune that does um, echoes. Blood echoes. Kind of a lesser version. More. Oh no, this does items. Okay, more items from fallen enemies. We got that one before. Moon is more echoes. Okay. And then we got this guy. The last one over here. If you can, try and like... Uh, get them to do an attack and then uh, run around the backstab. Okay, he's gone. Um, yeah, and we can work our way up to here to pull this lamp. Although, uh, again, like, there's not really much need because this is kind of like a halfway point. So we would have pulled this earlier. I don't know why I came out this way first. Silly me. Uh, what was that? Oh, someone dying over there. But yeah, we've got like loads of frenzy at the minute, so we can take some frenzy damage from this. It's building up really slowly. So we don't have to worry about it too much. Um. But yeah, you can just like wait around these uh these buildings for it to drop off a bit. That's a bit boring. And we are taking a bit of spike damage as well. Got another one of these over here. Let's top up before I get killed by the frenzy. Uh, nothing from that guy. Oh, I don't know why there's no worm. It usually has the worms like coming out of their bodies. Um, okay, this place just be a little bit careful with because we've got some uh, some of the slow giants that are gonna throw rocks. We can stagger them nicely. Always wear if you can get the back attack on these guys. Anything up here? No. So this next one has an item there. We can... Oh. We can get it. But as soon as we go behind him, one throws a rock, rock at us and it does a lot of damage if you get hit by that so just be careful of that I just rolled into it still got hit some more, some more chunks what uh, okay uh, stay away from it because it's going to do damage I'm going to top up again And go for the rock thrower. Get that one down, because then we've got another one. Just at the bottom here, that's gonna get some hits in. Oh, but yeah, they are pretty easy to take down. 
they're big, they're slow, they do hit hard, but you can easily uh, get around them and uh, get a back attack off. Um, there's an item over here. What's this? Some more chunks. We have loads of chunks in this area. Like, this area is just going to be like chunks, so go crazy if you want your weapon upgrades. It's going to be loads of them. Someone's ringing a bell. And then we head over into this room. <laughs> Beware of insect. Oh god. Spiders. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mini spiders and a giant spider. So we can do something else with these as well. Uh, actually, I'm going to go this way first. If we head left, because we've got the bell ringing woman, uh, which I believe is through here. Take her out. I'm not sure what she does. Probably call some more NPCs. The bell ring woman has left and the sound of the sinister bell has ceased. Uh, I'm not sure where the NPCs come from. Though. There's another spider. you in a minute. I wonder if we pick this up, does it come down? No, it doesn't. I'll bring it down there. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, because we got the spider there, if we move forward, like just before the bridge, just before the bridge, they all come down at the same time. But if you head up the, the side passage first, you can take them down one at a time without too much trouble. Quick silver bullets. If they're out of range, just give them a shoot. They'll drop down. Just check in. Uh, so they're all coming over. Shoot all these bitches down. Get on down. No. They do jump attacks as well. Whoa, and they do a lot of damage. You just don't want to be caught up with these guys because they will hurt. So trying to take them out one at a time is probably probably the best. Is that all of them? I think so. And then we can air. Uh, then it's just us and the, the big boy. Can we not go any better? Any attacks? Oh, let's use a paper. What are you doing? Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. We got hit by it. Ah, oh, but yeah, like super easy once you take out the little spiders. Um, but the next bit isn't as easy. For me, anyway. Shaman uh, Bone Blade. Uh, so hopefully we can do this while we've got our buff up still. Um, yeah, we've got an NPC over here. Uh, so it's always good to have some healing left. Um, I don't know what the easiest way to take... I think I'm just going to try and get some... Ludwig's Holy Blade. So if you get caught by that, he's going to do some serious damage. Oh, let's back off.
But this guy might just be as easy just to... <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, I was gonna say just to dodge up to him and like stagger, stagger attack him. But he kicked my ass on that. Right, so we're just gonna take this guy out. The safe way. <laughs> I'll say that every time. <laughs> the safe way. I still feel like I can get a, get a shot in. Come on. There we go. That fucking attack. Got the slow weapon, so we should be able to just avoid it and try and stagger the fuck out of this guy. Oh my god, it's got tracking. Quick, get the heels off. Like, just get into that bit. That's probably, like, the hardest part in this place. And now it's just uh, a little bit of a cakewalk from here. Um, <clears throat> so I don't even think Mikalash is that hard on the first playthrough. Just uh, be aggressive and you'll be fine. Uh, I say that now. Uh, yellow backbone. And we've got these little uh, silver shoulder barges roaming the place. Actually, like the hardest part of this, if it isn't uh, getting into the to the the castle, then it's um. Or the building, whatever it is, or it's it's the the bridge. Um. Okay. Oh god, they take so much. But these guys don't really. Like attack you straight away. They're pretty uh non aggressive until you start hitting them. So you can generally just like run around all these guys and not have to bother with them. Uh, but anyway, after all that, I'm going to head back. I'm going to do the shortcut, head back, and repair the weapon, <laughs> which is almost broke. Um, so we're just going to head down here. <clears throat> so we didn't have to do that lamp. That lamp, because it's just going to take us here, so we would have got it from this side anyway. Let's get the repair in. I might see if there's any. I might do some levels as well. We got one. Let's grab some more strength. Farewell, good hunter. 